Hi, welcome to Birding for Beginners. Have you ever watched a parrot in a parrot's cage and watch it crawling around upside down inside the cage and pecking at things and just making like, probably like a monkey? Quite intriguing. Yes, we're looking at perching feet or climbing feet. If you look carefully at that parrot, you will see that it has two toes pointing forward and two toes pointing backwards. There are many subcategories, but the main category of, of toes pointing forwards and backwards like that, two forward and two backwards, is called zydactyl. This type of feet are found generally in woodpeckers, parrots, owls, some cuckoos, some of the toucan families too. They often have curved nails on their toes as well and this helps them grip onto the branches and those claws are sharp. The other class of birds that cling onto branches like that are the songbirds or perching birds. They have three toes pointing forwards and one backwards. Bit much, bit like our thumb pointing backwards and three toes pointing forwards, and again these grip very tightly onto onto the branches. Very interesting how that works. Attached is a picture of the mechanism. When they are standing up, you will see that the t the feet of and the toes are more or less flat. But when they are sort of crouched down or sitting on their haunches, those toes are clinging right around and sort of gripping onto whatever they're at. During one lecture I, was, I heard, they told me that sometimes these songbirds or these perching birds do that before they go to bed. And in the cold winter and the cold weather, particularly overseas, they don't wake up, they just die. But you can see them still clinging on to it. These legs they have this tendon that causes the toes to grip tight and keep them in place. It causes them not to fall off and actually releases any muscles that need to work during that time so they can relax. Let's have a look at some of those birds. I have some pictures of the grey go-away bird. Standing and then crouching down. And you can see they are a lot more comfortable sort of sitting on their haunches. The brown hooded kingfisher. The same sort of thing. And he also looks very comfortable when he is crouching down. The brown hooded parrot. Yes, he's one of those guys who's got two toes pointing forwards and two toes pointing backwards. And he grips really nicely onto the branches. That black fork-tailed dronga, he looks very almost um, alert when he's sitting up. But when he crouches down, he's quite comfortable. Yellow-fronted canary, also the same. You'll notice that birds stand up before they want to start to fly. Obviously, that releases the tension on their toes and enables them to be able to take off. Also, when they come into land, you will see that they land with their legs out. Obviously, or from what I've said before, the toes are pointing outwards. And that means there's a great landing area. They've got more chance of hitting the branch. But more importantly, when they land, their legs sort of crouch up onto themselves, and that causes them to grip. And if you watch birds coming into land, you'll see that sometimes they even overbalance forward a bit but they don't fall off because their toes are holding them fast into the perch. I mentioned that they straighten themselves before they take off. You'll also see that birds tend to poop before they take off. My pet theory is that they don't want too much load on board before they take off. Excuse the grey go-away bird. He thought I was talking about him too. 
Well, that ends our study on bird feet. I've enjoyed researching it and finding out more about them. I can't fathom the depth and the beauty of the creation of those birds and how they are adapted to exactly what they need to do. Hope you enjoyed that too. In fact, in our next study on uh, identifying birds and some of the more technical parts of it, we'll be looking at the bird plumage. That's what birds are really renowned for, is their coloration. We'll examine that quite a lot more. We've got an interesting one too on some black birds, but we'll chat about that. Looking forward to our next session. Bye.